time to deal with a sensitive subject. You're out in the middle of nowhere and you got to go to the bathroom. How do you do it safely and with modesty, whether you're a guy or a gal? Stay tuned. First, some reassurance. There will be no practical demonstrations during this video. Instead, I'm just going to talk through the process. And the first thing you need to do is be prepared to go in your kayak. Obviously, if you can get to shore where it's allowed and you can be modest, that's the preferred notion. But when you look at where I am, I'm in the middle of a bay. There's, I'd waste half an hour trying to get to shore. So you've got to be able to go in your boat. And the first thing you have to be aware of is how you are dressed. And as embarrassing as this may be, you don't want to wear underwear because of two reasons. First, it gives you something else you got to negotiate with to get to your business. And the second thing is, it's in inevitably going to get wet. And do you want that wet cotton living next to your skin all day long? So, you know, wear decent, loose clothing and I don't know why all the ladies seem to wear bathing suits when they're fishing because they're just going to get skin cancer. Wear loose clothing, long sleeve shirt, and long trousers. So now you're faced with doing your business. The one thing you don't want to do is to stand up. One, you're going to be unstable. Two, you're going to have to twist. If you're a guy, if you're a gal, you can go straight ahead, but still you're going to be unstable. And if you're a guy, there's that distance between where you are and the edge of your boat that's going to get a little bit of a sprinkle. So you don't want to do that. So that says you've got to kneel down when you're about to go. And so there's two ways you can do that. The first that I don't recommend is the scupper hole technique. You just empty into one of the scupper holes. But the problem with that is you're going to have overspray, your boat's going to wiggle, and you're going to get everything all over everything. So what you need to do is get a water bottle and cut it off. This size will fit most of us. Now I know, and although I do not have any personal knowledge of this, I know that this may not be appropriate for Steve Sharon of the Adventure Outdoor Channel, but you know he can use a milk gallon jug or something like that. But this is good for both of us. And just do your business into this and pitch it over to the side while you're kneeling down. Now, if there's a modesty issue where you're surrounded by their boats, what you can do is take your hat off and hold that in front while you're doing it. Now, for the ladies, I know that there are appliances you can buy that allow you to mimic the function of a man. And so I'll link, I'll find some of those. I know they're out there. I'll find some of those, link them up down below, and I'll leave it up to you to see if they actually work or not. You know, you may end up having to be stuck with the scupper hole option. So there you are, embarrassing topic. <laughs> Got to be covered. I know people have questions about how to do this. If you have options you want to share, throw them in the comments below. Thanks.